We are Georgia and Diego, and this is unforgettable. We just sailed our home to one of the most remote areas of this planet, the Tuamotu. Sailing by boat allows us to explore busy cities and the most unexplored paradises. And this week we are in one of those places, idyllic scenarios, small population and untouched marine life. We are at the South Pass of Acarava, and we cannot wait to show you around. In the previous episode, we showed a little bit of what our life of the grid looks like. Sailed by wind, caught some fruits at nature, enjoyed the sunset and had our anchor tangled in some corals. We started sailing to the South Facarava and found little paradises on the way. Hey, good to go! A gente já viu tanto lugar lindo, assim, que, não sei, parece que a Polinésia é um, é um lugar infinito, assim, com ilhas infinitas, com atóis infinitos, assim, eu já, acho que eu já nem sei mais o que esperar de mais bonito, porque não tem como. Since you came all this way, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you won't miss any new video. This means a lot to us. Thanks for joining the community and welcome aboard. Yoo-hoo! We carry on to the South Pass and then we could sail. It was kind of upwind, but uh, really smooth because to sail inside these atolls, there's no waves. So, like, uh, you can use the, all the sails and uh, it's really mellow. It's really mellow. And it's so comfortable and brings me back a bit uh, the passion for, for this kind of sailing because it's not like challenging or adventurous, it's just uh, it's just pure joy, you know, it's just relaxing. Oh my god, everything is under control. You have to keep yourself inside the carol in the canal and uh, watch for the coral, right? When I when I saw that on the on the chart, I said okay 30 miles, we're gonna burn some fuel to go and to come back, but now sailing pretty much all the way, beautiful, no fuel spent and uh, yeah, great sailing. We also flew the drone. Always uh, some emotion to flew the drone sailing. Oh my God, I don't know if we can do it when we are only the two of us, but... Yeah, yeah. we'll have, have an experience here and uh, yes. great pilots. Yeah, so we finally have shot sailing. This is really amazing, I'm so happy. And it was a beautiful sailing also to shoot, so that was perfect, really nice. The water is so clear, so clear, unbelievable. Do you think, do you ah. think we should anchor instead of this marine boy? Uh, it's just like coral head, coral head, coral head. There's no ascent, so it, you really dodge to anchor as well. We're gonna be tangled. For sure. Maybe we should try to talk to the neighbor there. Just, uh, to, just to know if he saw any other boats here, maybe at this marine boat. Yeah, you can do that. Banho especial hoje? É, hoje estamos tomando banho diferente. Eu não tô querendo mergulhar. Tô com uma dorzinha nas costas. 
Zdor nas costas. Zdor nas costas que passa aqui embaixo, aquela que vem e vai, sabe? Olha ali, ó. Tem duas horas na aqui embaixo. Olha lá. Olha Olha Ai, ai. Você teve um banho tão emocionante como esse? Já, mano. Esse é o ciático, esse aí é o hérnia, e esse aqui é o torticolo. <risos> And after a few hours sailing with all this, that nice landscape, because it's uh, here inside the atolls, we can see, we don't, we don't sail very far from the shore, so we can see the, the beaches like white sand and coconut trees all around. That's really, really, really cool. And uh, when we got to the South Pass, it was, the landscape was amazing. It's just the clear, clear water. We anchored the boat and we could see the bottom of the water. Well, it was a little scary because there were some coral heads and we got the mooring ball. So actually it was fine. And then we could see like that stripe of sand, like tiny strip of sand and the sea on the other side. This is really unique, like you don't see that in many places. Like you're anchored in calm waters and then just some beach and the open sea on the other side. This is fantastic. It creates like a mix of water and sand and coconut trees. It's just crazy, crazy scenery and it's really really beautiful i think this is one of the highlights of the two models like this kind of place do you think we've been to other places more remote than this i i can't think of any i think this is the like a uh, most uh, remote and isolated place yeah and you can see why it's kind of it's beautiful it's amazing but it's hostile it's just like rocks plain rocks and well, some coconut trees but that's it and both sides the ocean it's crazy it's very rough very dry it's just like uh, it's so nice because there are two different views like this side is like open sea and the uh, waves and it's so more like a uh, rough and the other side is very calm, like uh, flat seas protected inside the atoll. If you like our videos, please consider to become a patron and help us keep these videos coming every week. Your support is what keeps us afloat. South Pass is the highlight of Akarava, I'll say, and uh, the reason for that is because the atoll there has some, uh, there's the pass and there's some tiny canals, so there's a lot of exchange between the, the water inside the atoll and the oceanic water, so the water is crazy clear, crazy clear, it's, it's I don't know, I couldn't believe my eyes when they first put my head under water, and you see the sharks straight away, and there's all this thrill about the sharks, 
and oh my god sharks at some point you get to use it you swim with them you kind of chase them and you see like they're they don't give a shit about you they're just there doing their stuff they're yeah. they're not concerned about humans but at the beginning we were really scared yes yes because sharks you know populate your mind in this freak way but lovely animals uh, it was it was really cool and uh the most beautiful water i saw we made a snorkel there there's uh i don't have anything to compare with well, so many colors so many fish and it's like it's mind-blowing that's really yes. cool so we just had a quick snack we just eat a wrap with some veggies and now we go for a, a dive we're gonna drift dive with uh, snorkeling gear actually first snorkel here in south pass and we look a lot from the over the water and we saw so many big fish and um full of expectations for this dive and now it's the perfect timing the tide is, is getting full so it's very very clear water we flew the drone this morning and we found this spot and it looks like very nice and the perfect spot between the deep water and the sandbar so i think this will be really nice Georgia washed her hair in the shower, so we don't have any more water today, guys. Now oh, we're dry. There's no water to drink. I just use a little bit. I get our guests are uncomfortable with the motion of the boat. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Just a little bit, but I'm thinking about uh, taking my hammock and sleep at the beach. <laughs> That's a good option. Yeah, you can try it's it. It's my B plan. Yeah. My A plan is okay here. You can go sleep with night trucks. <laughs> yeah. Bruno is feeling at home. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and I'm not taking a shower, so we can save some water because... Uh, Jaja washed her hair. <laughs> That's it. The teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yesterday I didn't shower, so That's today it? I shower twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just before the sunset, we could see like a very big and dark cloud was coming, and as uh, the wind is blowing really hard. It's a big, uh, strong squall. It's lasting for half an hour now, and I'm sure every skipper on uh, each of these boats around us is alert because 
some of us are in mooring buoys and you know it's always kind of sketchy i inspected our our mooring buoy and it seemed okay but still always uh, a bit nervous this moment because it's blowing over 35 knots for sure and uh, for a long time and it's night uh, you cannot see anything the the seas pick up so we're pitching and pitching and it's just like a wild horse as georgie just said so yeah it's not uh, the most uh, relaxing night 